Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back with a project that I started a year ago and I'm just finishing it up. Um, my husband and I, um, as many of you know, um, it's been a difficult few years and not that it's been, it's just been a difficult time during the pandemic. And so, um, so I'm not saying my husband and I, but it has been a different, difficult period in the pandemic. And so, um, I had created these and I, there was something that happened and these just got shelved. These gifts got shelved. They didn't get finished. They didn't get given. Um, matter of fact, he never opened any of his, um, anniversary gifts that year, last year. And I think it was just um, something he was going through, and that's okay. Um, I tend to go way overboard. I know this stuff myself. I admit it. But um, I love my husband. And so making things for him brings me joy. Like literally tomorrow morning I'm waking up and I'm making heart muffins with raspberries and bananas and just yummy food, you know, and, uh, and I have some of the Ikea Swedish potato pancakes and, um, I'm going to do eggs, pancakes, and then we'll have the muffins to nibble on, you know, later. And then for dinner, I am using that, that crack dip. It's a terrible name, but it's that really yummy dip. And I've already got my chicken defrosted in the fridge. We're going to have a salad and I'm going to cook that. And so, you know, I know these things are probably not as important to other people as they are to me, but I love doing things for people I love. Um, I literally, um, and, and I ordered something for um, my sister and my sweet daughter got it mailed Monday. So hopefully she has it today. But all I can say is there are things, you know, I love to make things. I love to um, find things for people I love. And it's just one of those things that I really love kind of almost the art of the surprise. Um, I recently did something for someone and it wasn't even what I did, though they carried on and on. It was that it just brought them so much joy. And that was worth everything to me. You know, I mean, I know that probably sounds weird to people, but I just love giving gifts. I love doing things for people. So this has been a long time in waiting. So, um, I, there are so many people online that I love to study God's word with. And of course in person as well. And so this is a conglomeration of about, I don't know, several different people. So Heather Baxter, who's online, war room journals, um, things like that. And I'm going to come back and I've got some new projects that are already printed, ready and waiting for March. And I'm super excited to do them with you. And then we're going to have some drawings. So I'm super excited. Um, but they are a hundred percent ready to go now. And, um, I, you know, I'm trying to work ahead, make sure we're ahead. So anyways, this particular project, I made one for my husband and one for myself. So if you guys remember, we were going through War Room last year. So these became a part of that process. They are not exact as other people have done, but they are a conglomeration of, um, you know, different Bible studies I've done and different kind of War Room binders that I've seen. So you can do them in a notebook. You can make a corner in your home. You can have a closet that is your prayer closet. You can do all of that. Or... If you don't have that available to you, you can make someone a journal. Now, I bought these two journals, and I just looked and looked and looked on Amazon. That I thought they were affordable. They were, uh, you know, they were, they would meet the needs of what I needed. They kind of have this funky embossed definition of believe that is not um, conducive to this particular project. So, um, I just covered these with. Hold on, these fantastic stickers. These are um, vinyl waterproof stickers and they are just straight. Uh, where's the one I have open? 
Hmm, it disappeared. I had I literally just finished one and started a second one, and then I have a third one in waiting. But they are just straight scripture, and I just love these particular um, books. Now, I went through, and first I divided everything. So I just kind of want to show you what I did. So this is a sticker from Dollar Tree. Nothing more, nothing less. It is a dimensional sticker, and I thought it was beautiful. And I really love gardening, so it meant a lot for me. So this is mine, and this is my husband's. So I also, there's some of those stickers. You're going to see scripture throughout. So I chose some stickers that um, were encouragements to me. His is going to be a very different journal because it gives them room. And I also took out my ribbons. I don't like ribbon dividers. They're just not my gig. So that's going to go in another project. I will save them. But, um, and then I will have some kind of letter to God about this journal here. These are dot um, grid journals, which I love. So, I just took stickers from all over. I have, um, let me see, hold on. I have this one that I showed you. And I used the Faith stickers and these Agenda Faith uh, Paper Studio stickers. And these are Sunday Funday Devotional Planner stickers. So, um, I well, they definitely have these still at Amazon. Um, I'm pretty sure they still have these. I have not double-checked all this. These are going to be maybe a little bit harder to find, but you can find a version of. There's also stickers that I will go back in as a journal and use, and I have several other faith type stickers from Happy Planner that I will just add into the mix. So that's that. This goes back in my Bible journaling bag that I already have ready to roll. And so let me just show you. So for him, his beginning is very minimal. He's a guy, black and white works. So I put um, a little bit of scripture here. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27, 1. I put love because I made this in love. Let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. James 1, 19. And I just think those are good encouragements. Act justly, love mercy, walk humbly. And that's Micah, uh, Micah 6, 8. And then his, that's his cover to his adoration page. Then, um, and I will show you in his, I have a, so a few things else done. And those, that came from Heather Baxter. So this is the confession page for me. Your word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. Instead, instead, clothe yourself, and clothe yourself with the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ and don't let yourself think about ways to indulge your evil desires. Romans 13, 14. You know, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. James 1, 19. So there, there are some repeats. There are some overlap. You know, do justly, love hum mercy, walk humbly. Again, Micah 6, 8, but there are two different versions of it. So in his, I have um, sticky notes laid out. And the idea is you're able to, you can write a scripture, write what it means to you underneath it. You can um, pull these out, leave them in. Um they're just another thing you need, you pull these out if you don't want them in here and you can leave them in your Bible, you know, where you look up the scripture for that day, however you want to go about it. So we start with adoration and then for him, his confession looks, he restores my soul and rejoice always give thanks in all the, all circumstances for this is God's will for your, for you in Christ Jesus. First Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18. And these are his, um, his confession section and you're going to look at that and you're going to wonder well why is that scripture where you put it there's reasons for it and you just have to know everybody has their own story again we have full full on sticky stickers um again for him and i just went through and tried to show him how he can journal in pieces it doesn't have to be the straight use the lines now he may hate this, and if he does, that's okay. He can take them out. Um, his Thanksgiving is, again, more simple. Mine is pretty loaded. It is. Um, for we're God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Ephesians 2.10. And rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 
1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 18. Those are mine. And I put things like he restores my soul. All I need today is a little coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. You know, bless, 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 bless. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. You know, love this. Thankful for, bless. Things like that. You know, things that meant something to me. His is going to be give thanks to God of heaven. Mm -hmm. His faithful love endures forever. Psalms 136, 26. How great thou art. Um, again, it's for man. So, and I will be doing some of these stickies in mine. Um, I'm just not starting there. I have those in my little Bible journaling bag. And that I will add as I go through. Um, for him, I'm trying to give him things ahead that he can think, how do I want to do this? How do I do this? Things like that. Um, and then the next section is petitions. So his petitions looks like this. God's got this. Yes. And petitions, I see more um, as prayer requests for others, but also prayer requests for yourself. My petitions, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 73, 26, and trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5, and that is what it is to pray and ask God to help us. So for my petitions, they look like this. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Um, Philippians 4, 6, planted in my faith, planted in my faith. But first pray, keep calm and pray on. Pray for, um, so blessed and don't forget. Don't forget to pray. And that's a part of what I see this as. My next section says prayer request. These are the prayer requests that I want to pray for others. So we're going to get a little different here between his and mine. So my prayer request section is for others. This, my petitions, I see is mine. The prayer requests are from other people who ask me to pray. So, or if I say, I'm going to pray for you, could you tell me your first name? Then I will write it in here. If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Romans 8, 31. In the storm, I will praise him. That could have gone under praise, but it could also go under pray because I'm praising him for others in my life as well. Answer God is calling. Ring, ring. <laughs> we love that. Faith can move mountains. Faith over fear. Trust in God. So blessed. And they are the little praying hands. I think that it's important for me to pray for others. Um, well, we're told to do it in scripture, but it just... Um, does something to my heart. It is it is very important to my heart. So, prayer requests for others. Then, for his section, and for him, petitions will be the combination of both. His section, next one, is sermon notes. Jesus, more Jesus less, you know, Jesus more, me less kind of thing. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Psalms 23, 6. Of course, we know that as Psalms 23, right? Um, so this is a section for just sermon notes. There are no sticky notes. There's plenty of room to write. Matter of fact, he went to church this last Sunday and didn't have anything to take notes. I was watching him. Um, he then wandered and just started reading other scripture. There is something about the practice of writing notes. There is something about it that draws our focus into it. I literally have, hold on, I will show you, here it is, I think it's here, oh goodness, where's my notebook, hold on, from church, here it is, no, I moved it to a different side, so this is my church binder, this is what I take with me to church, it's not big, got it at Hobby Lobby years ago, but it has the first part of my favorite verse, so I go this way, right now, on the right side, I've already got it so full, I'm now flipped over and going back again. So it is, um, it's the way I like to do a binder. I will do the same thing with this binder. I will start everything on the right side. I will flip it upside down and I will go backwards. My husband's not that guy. He will go side to side. To, yeah, that's just what he does. Um, but I need a completely separate notebook for my um my sermon notes now let me show you a trick if he says hey man i'm not going to carry my private war room binder to church all we have to do is take this off and he can change that to whatever he wants so there's a reason why i have these tabs these are just the inexpensive tabs from walmart i know it's great 
Okay, so where am I at? Okay, so for this part, so I've gone through, these are my prayer requests. This is my section for my husband. This is where I pray for my husband. My scripture is, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about these things that are excellent, worthy of praise, and worthy of praise. Philippians 4, 8. That's such a good verse. I wish we would have had that verse for our family. Um, our interim pastor shared recently that that was the verse they had for their family. And what a good verse. Um, so these are the things that I will pray for him. Then I go to the next section and it's children and spouses. So I'm going to catch up in my husband's. The next section for my husband is Bible study. Your word is a lamp into my feet, a light into my path. Psalms 119, 107, abide in me and I in you. John 15, 4, wisdom and kindness. Our wisdom comes from God. Our wisdom comes from reading and knowing the word. And so this is his encouragement. And if you notice, he gets a lot more space for, than any section in this Bible study portion. My husband and our two oldest children have photographic memories. It tends to make them go, I already studied that scripture. I know what that's all about. Well, here's the gig. Guys, I don't care how smart you are. I don't care if you have photographic memory. God teaches us something new every single time we read his word. Every single time. I'm literally looking at a school online to learn the Hebraic word, original words to scripture right now. Um, it showed up in my social media, and I've just watched this so many times. Of course, we went to Messianic Jewish Church. I can't tell you how important that is. Yes, it's a living word. Yes, it's applicable where we're at. Yes, it may have a different meaning for us when we're in that, um, in this state that we're in. But I want to know the original intent. I do. So, yes, I will have a whole notebook. Well, I have multiple notebooks for Bible study. So, um, I have one for my online classes. I have one for my, um, group of ladies that I meet with every week. I have, you know, it's just that kind of ongoing, um, plan. It's just what it is. So that's how we work it. Okay. Now he does have a room. I, th I thought I had a prayer request for him. So back to where his is rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation by be constant in prayer. Romans 12, 12, this is where he will pray for others, ask using my name, and I will receive, and you will have abundant joy. Trust, where it said your gut, cross that out, God. And so the thing is, um, he may need another notebook for this. It's not very big, but I think it's a good start for him. I do. All right, so now is his section for his wife. That is me. Um, commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. Psalms 37, 5. Choose joy. Don't be afraid for I'm with you. Don't be discouraged for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isaiah 41, 10. Um, I pray that he will pray that for me. Does that make sense? Um, and that is my encouragement to him. Okay. Our children and their spouses do all to the glory of God. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. 12 Romans 12, 10. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. And these are really important prayers. And you know, this gives him a, a launching point to pray for our children and their spouses. I This is my favorite all-time sticky note. I love the size of this. I love the convenience of this. I love how it works for me. I hope he will enjoy that. So, um, okay. And then we have grandchildren. Oh, let me show you my children. Children and spouses, be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Psalms 37, 7. So I put things down that would be my prayer for them. Now, my youngest loves macaroons. This is have a sweet Sunday, but there's a prayer for that in there. And, and that she loves macaroons. Um, pray for, but first pray. Um, stand firm in your faith. This is why I pray for my children to be thankful, to be grounded in a church, to serve, to have a servant's heart, to reflect on the Lord, reflect on what he has done, pray for, to pray for others, to retreat, get alone with God, to be blessed, the, the men and the women, to retreat again. So we have the women and the men. There are times we all need to retreat and, and pray 
to pray uh, for their prayer life, quiet times for both men and women, um, and then spread love, to spread love. Okay, and then for our grandchildren, okay, I have rejoice, hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. And again, Romans 12, 12, I pray to be constantly in prayer for my grandchildren. As much as I love and adore them, I have to admit, I don't always pray all the time for them. Um, I need to. <laughs> I need to. So um, this is my reminder. Um, planted in my faith planted in my faith. And that is my prayer for my grandchildren to have quiet times, to be blessed. And we'll have all girls now, but hopefully we'll have boys to be in church, you know, to not forget to pray for them, to that koinonia love for them. Um, Bible study. I hope that they're learning scripture and having the Bible read to them. Um, again, to reflect on Jesus and knowing Jesus in their lives. Just love this, love this, love them both, both my granddaughters. Um, to serve so that they will have hearts to serve others, um, to be blessed, to pray, um, and then um, to come visit their Mimi, Mimi Chris, <laughs> and granddaddy. All right. The other thing is every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father. James 1, 17, and that is for my husband. I wanted him to see that, um, the blessing of our grandchildren. What a friend we have in Jesus to pray that for them. And now these three remain faith, hope, and love, but the grace of these is love. First Corinthians 13, 13. Not only to pray that we can, can exhibit faith, hope, and love, but that he will have great faith and hope and love for them and for all of our grandchildren. So I think that those are very important things. Okay, now next we have city and state. So I combined some of his. Um, now he's very politically active, but, um, I have to be honest, it kind of went a bit awry in all of the pandemic times. So just taking it one step at a time, give it to God. That is a huge encouragement for him to be still and know that I am God. Psalms 46, 10, that know for him to remember that God is in control. Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Romans 12, 9, and I just thought that was such a good, good thought. I have in an extra section for Josephine's designs, and my scripture for Josephine's designs is do all to the glory of God. So everything that I do, that it would bring nothing but glory and honor to God. Fix your eyes on Jesus. No matter what I do for this channel, I want to pray about it, focus on the Lord, and make sure this is his will. Um, give it to God. Every bit of this, give it to God. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Give him the praise. Um, and give him the trials and the struggles. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. You know, Proverbs 3, 5, one of my favorite verses. Um, so humble yourselves under the mighty power of God. And at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. Verse 5, 6, or 7. So that I pray that basically um, outside of salvation that these would be the things that we would take on that we would take on being humble that we would um, humble ourselves to the mighty power of God and that the right time he will lift you up in honor and give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you and that is my prayer for y'all okay so let's go to the next thing I start with the world so I kind of go backwards from him I start with the world I have for God so loved the world that whoever that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have ever have eternal life. John 3 16. Sorry, you know, I have memorized it, a different version. To be thankful for the world, to pray for the world, to spread the word. And for since the world began, no ear has heard, no eye has seen a God like you who works for those who wait for him. Isaiah 64 4. Act justly, love mercy, walk humbly. Um, just because we're Christians doesn't mean we have the right to gloat around. We need to still be humble and we still need to love and encourage and uh, act justly. Um, there's a lot of things that have gone, awry, have gone awry and we need to focus on being the light for Christ, which means we need to act justly. We need to love mercy and we need to walk humbly. So those are good verses for that or a good verse there. Um, Okay, I now have the nation rejoice, hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. I'm sheltered by my God, rooted in the word, walk humbly, Micah 6, 8. 
um, thankful for, pray for. Now, when David had served God's purpose in his own generation, he fell asleep. He was buried with his ancestors in Acts 13 36. So we each are, you know, Americans. We live in America. Um, we have people from all over the world who are part of this channel. And I can only say that we are born and we die. And more than likely, as we go through this process, um, we will more than likely be buried with our ancestors. We will be buried with our children, with my grandmother, with my parents. Um, we already have the plot, my husband and I, um, and with our two daughters that have gone on before us. So there is a there was something about that that just meant a lot to me as far as our nation. We live in America. We've stayed in America, even though all these things have gone on. Um, it's important. And I also have for the national, uh, the world, I've got some stickers for Israel. I'm going to add for that because we as Christians need to pray for Israel. It's always important. Okay, lastly, for this day, thankful for, I love Texas. I'm very thankful. Um, trust your gut. No, trust God when it comes to this state. Um, kind of more rustic because that's how I think about Texas, though we do have fancy fancy here. I'm not going to not say that. And to pray for our state. Um, and we know that in all things, God works for good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. And that's such a good verse, guys. If you don't have it memorized, please, please, please memorize it. Okay, so on his nation, it is strong and courageous. Courageous, faith over fear, fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline, Proverbs 1, 7. And this is something that he turns with a lot when it comes to our nation and um, the result that we see. So um, I figure that, that, you know, I try to redirect, but sometimes, sometimes it just has to be acknowledged. It just has to be acknowledged. So his world section is God's plans are infinitely greater than our own. The... John 3, 16, for God's love of the Lord gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Sorry, I'm not even going to read that. I'm going to go for my memory. And, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. And that is true throughout the world. That is, that is throughout the world, my friends. So this is how it ends for him. It's basic. It's done. And then I have the city separate. So I pray for the churches here. I, which is the body of Christ. I pray for Bible study, pray, and I do pray for our town. Um, and I'm thankful for our town. God's got this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. This is a great, this is the day the Lord has made. He has. He has made it for here in this little town. The seeds of good deeds become a tree of life. A wise person wins friends. Proverbs eleven thirty, And there's something about that scripture that just touched my heart. Um, it just touched my heart. You know, we need to be a good neighbor. And that's one of the things the Lord told us. The two greatest commandments, love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. So it is important. It's important. God is good. And he is good. Lastly, I'm praying for our property. Our property's name is Little Glorietta. It was named that the minute we bought it. And we're thankful for, and I put down grace, love, patience, trust. Grace, love, patience, trust. I'm grateful for our home. We need to have grace. We need to have love. We need to have patience. We need to have trust here. And those are important parts of our walk with the Lord. Um, your heavenly father already knows your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. And he will give you everything you need. Matthew 6, 32, 33. Um, that's such a great verse. And it's so applicable to our home and our property. There's so much changing so fast. Um, our property taxes are more than doubled since we moved here. And we can't afford to retire here if that's what it's going to be. So my husband's going to protest. They've valued the house too high. Um, the land is worth something. There is no doubt. But it's too much. And um, they started incrementally raising them when my parents were ill. And then um, just went crazy. You know, when everybody moved here from California, it just went crazy. So when I was talking to my sister last night, I said, well, they value our home at, she goes, oh, that's crazy. And I said, I know, <laughs> I know. So pray for, be still and know that I am God. Psalms 4610, God has a plan.
in a retreat. I want this to be a retreat for people to come and to be encouraged. So I have stuck the leftover, that's what those stickers are, the leftover of those stickers in the back here so that if I get stuck, I can pull scripture out and I can um, put it down, pray that, write that. Whatever I believe that God is wanting to teach right then and there, that'll be my focus. Um, I don't know how my husband will use his, but that is for him to determine. It is his gift. So my verse is surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Psalms 23, 6. So my husband's is 1 John 4, 16. I love this, guys. We know how much God loves us and we have put our trust in the love, in his love. God is love. Amen. And all who live in love live in God and God lives in them. And this is 1 John 4, 16. Guys, it, God's word is applicable to all of our lives. As I went through and made this for my husband a year ago, I prayed through what verses, what stickers. The only thing I've added to his was that sticker today. Everything else has not been changed at all. Um, my stickers were all done today, except for the divisions were set up. So as we look at making gifts for others, we can't, you know, try to teach them a lesson through the scripture. We can't preach it them through the scripture that we put in these sections, but we can love and encourage them. And that's the most important thing. So pray as I give this to my husband this weekend, that this will be a blessing to him. This is what I'm taking um, as we do our, our little weekend camping trip. And I'm excited. I'm really excited. And I hope that this encouraged you to think about ways to set up your own prayer journal, your own war room binder, however you want to go about it. Um, he has never watched the movie War Room. He's never read the book. And I don't think he will. I mean, it's, it's in, I'm sure the first thing he would say is, oh man, that's a total chick flick. But <laughs> you and I both know there's truth both ways on that. And so um, in time, maybe he'll watch it and maybe giving him a war room uh, binder will give him an encouragement to want to go and seek that out. You know, um, it just, but that's, it's on his own. It's in his time, God's timing. And when my husband is ready. So, all right, friends, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, it doesn't take a lot of money. These little books, I think were like $6, maybe six ninety dollars something. They were somewhere between 6 and $7, I'll say. That was really good for these. And they're of nice quality. The paper quality is very nice. I don't know if they still sell them. I don't know, but they'll sell things similarly. They are a substantial size, if you can see. Um, a good little over two inches wide. And um, there's a lot of pages there. Um, the tabs are inexpensive. And the stickers are, when you find them on sale, you pick them up, right? Okay. Um, I would not say that these are super inexpensive, but... They're waterproof. So this is a good thing to put on the outside of a journal. You know, it's going to hold. And then the scripture's so good. How can you not put it in the journal? Yeah. So, um, it's, it's a, it's a bit of a labor of love, but it's, it's a blessing to give. So, okay, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have like subscribe, do all that good stuff, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the subtle variations from mine to his. And um, is it something that you would do? I know. Um, it's an interesting journey, I have to say that. All right, friends. Um, I pray your, your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Sorry, it's a long day of making videos today, but I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Thank you for being here. It is dark out. It is nighttime. My husband and daughter have gone to go pick up wood for the mini house and plants that they bought for the spring and um yeah so it's uh, uh it's dark i hate for them to come back on those back roads in the dark but they have a trailer they'll be okay um but i wanted to have this time with you and i wanted it to be where i could talk loudly and i apologize for all the quiet videos um i did not recognize i think mainly because my husband was working i didn't want to disturb him so um, I've learned a lot, just need to speak up, so I apologize. 
Um, there might be times I'll have to be quiet and I apologize if you have to turn up the sound. But um, there are different things coming this year, guys. Lots of different things. Um, really, um, if you're not subscribed, please consider it because I got to tell you, the Lord has done a lot of, of uh, heart changes in me and redirection as far as this channel goes. And I'm in hopes that it will be of encouragement to each one of you. Okay, friends, I'm going to let you go. Again, pray your, your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. I love you. I am so thankful to be with you. And I thank you for being here and for supporting me in this channel. Um, and if this would encourage anybody else, feel free to share it and you know forward it to someone. And most importantly, as much as I love you, God loves you so much more. He loves you. He loves you. And uh, keep serving him well. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Y'all take care. Bye now.